Melania Trump allows jealous whores and messy media to ruin her marriage. Melania Trump allows jealous whores and messy media to ruin her marriage. Thank you for tuning in to Laurel with the Black Political Buzz Network. Recently, following the awful, horrific mass shooting incident, which took place on Valentine's Day, 2018, February 14, 2018, and uh, at a high school located in Parkland, Florida, President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump, his beautiful wife, the model, decided to pay a visit from the White House to the um, you know scene of the crime in Parkland, Florida, the scene of the incident. Uh, President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump decided to pay a visit to those hurting, grieving, you know, uh, families in Parkland, Florida, who, you know, uh, lost 17 innocent high school students at the hands of an angry 19-year-old uh, young man named Nicholas Cruz, who was not working alone. <laughs> I'm going to keep on reiterating that. He's 19. He wasn't working alone to create all that hysteria. It's not possible that a 19-year-old can do all that by himself, even in 21st century America. I'm not buying it. But anyway, President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump decided to pay a visit to Parkland, Florida, to bring comfort and help to those hurting families who lost their loved ones or whose students experienced the shooting, the mass shooting. And the messy mainstream media, you know, the mainstream media is very messy. They happen to observe and capture on film Melania Trump jerking her hand away from President Trump as they were exiting the plane, as they were entering the plane, Air Force One, and Exiting the plane, you know, Air Force One. They noticed that Melania Trump didn't look at President Trump. She looked, she stared straight ahead, jerked her hand away when he tried to grab her hand, you know, like to hold her hand as husbands are supposed to do, hold their wife's hand. It says she jerked her hand away in, in frustration and anger and chose to, you know, and and they also said that when they arrived at their destination, that Melania chose to arrive separately. Now, even though they met up, you know, at the destination, at the place in Parkland, Florida, they met up there. They said that Melania chose to arrive there separately. But as they were getting on the plane, you know, and so forth, whatever, that Melania did not want President Trump to hold her hand, etc., well, what can be the cause of this friction, this friction between President Trump and his beautiful wife, Melania Trump, the model, a former model. She was a former supermodel, not one of those booty magazine models, not one of those booty magazine models, but she was a real model, a supermodel, professional model. What What's causing the friction between President Trump and Melania? Well, we have some jealous whores, sluts, who claim to have slept with Donald Trump, President Donald Trump, years ago. Eight years ago, nine years ago, ten years ago, when he was just a private citizen. You know, working in New York, you know, at his headquarters at Trump Towers in Manhattan, a private citizen. He was not a politician. 
his uh, his election as uh, president of our nation is Donald Trump's first experience as a politician. Prior to that, he was a private businessman, a private citizen in American society. With these slut whores, Stormy Daniels and this uh, playmate, you know, woman, etc. Like I said, they they claim to have either slept with Donald President Donald J. Trump when he was a private citizen many years ago, or they claim to have, you know, had a, um, some kind of a, um, a clan clandestine, uh, you know, sexual encounter with him some kind of way. Oral sex something. Who knows what filth? Who knows what filth they're talking about? But why didn't they mention this when he was running for president? Why didn't they bring this up years ago? I mean... They do say he paid them off. Isn't that what whores want? They want to sleep with somebody's husband. And you know, these whores, these jealous sluts and whores, they always love to mess with married men. Men that are inaccessible to them, you know, in terms of these married men don't want these whores and sluts, you know, in real life. They'll sleep with them behind closed doors and maybe pay them a little bit. Pay them, pay a bill for them, pay, give them some money, write them a check, but they don't make them their wives. I repeat, they don't make these sluts and whores their wives. And any woman, any woman, whether it's in America, you know, or any other country, if you are satisfied with being a married man's side chick and whore slut, then you deserve to never get a husband. And you deserve to be treated like a prostitute because that's what you really are. If you are a single woman and you're right here running behind somebody's husband as a way of coming up to get your bills paid or to get you a new bag, a new designer bag, a pair of designer shoes, to get you a Louis Vuitton luggage set or to go on a trip somewhere or to get a diamond ring or a necklace. But yet... That man ain't going to leave his wife. And if he does leave his wife, which is very rare, if he does leave his wife, which is very rare, he's not going to stay with you anyway. Because the same way you stole him from his wife, he's going to leave you and dump you the same way you stole him from his wife and caused that married man to dump his wife. He's going to dump you the same way because karma, karma is a B. I'm not going to say the B word, but karma is a B. Payback hurts. And you will get back what you gave out. So uh, single women who are being sluts and prostitutes out here, running behind married men to try to make them leave their wives or whatever, you're satisfied with being a whore and a side chick. What about when you get older? You're going to be the same single side chick slut whore that you were when you were younger except now except when you get older nobody's gonna want you you're gonna be totally alone when you, while you're young and have a you know a little bit of looks about you that may that sluttiness side chick lifestyle may last just a moment because of your youth but when you get older no man's gonna want you you're gonna be wore out Diseased up and by yourself. Well, these jealous whores are trying to ruin Melania Trump's marriage to President Donald J. Trump. Of course, she's hurt. Any wife, any wife would be hurt to hear about her husband being involved with some side chick slut strumpet. Some whore. Some jealous whore who wants the life that that wife is living. I repeat, these jealous whores, they want the life that the wife is living. That's why they're trying to make the man leave the wife by sleeping with him or messing around with him. Only a smart man, the smart men don't leave their wives for whores and sluts. You have a few dummies out here who will. But smart men don't lead their wives for sluts and whores and strumpets. Melania, honey, let me give you a little bit of advice. 
Honey, you got to get thicker skin. You're a first lady now. You can't let these jealous uh, whores and playmates and call girls and escort girls break up your marriage to the president. You can't let them break up your marriage and ruffle your feathers, honey. Get some thick skin. Put those whores in their place by sticking with your man, letting him hold your hand in public. Don't air out your dirty laundry in public. I repeat, Melania, don't air out your dirty laundry in public, honey, because those whores, that's what they want to see. Let those whores be lonely whores till they get 80, if they live that long, if they don't die from STDs and diseases and HIV first. Hold on to your man, honey, and live that good life that those jealous whores wish they were living. Don't let the messy media get in your head, Melania, and mess up your thinking, cloud your thinking, and cloud your judgment against your husband. Don't let these jealous whores make you so angry you want to leave your husband. Now, I'm not saying adultery is right. I do not condone or endorse adultery. I repeat, I do not condone or endorse adultery. It's wrong, wrong, and hurtful, and wrong. And whoever does that, mess with somebody's husband, those women are going to get that back in their life. Believe me, those whores messing with somebody's husband, they get that back. That's why they end up in their 60s and 70s alone and diseased out, bent over, if they live that long. So, Melania, you're the first lady of this great free nation. Hold your head up, honey. Stick by your man. Pray for your man. Pray for him. Don't leave him while he's president. Don't let this mess get in your head and mess up your marriage and destroy your destiny and your legacy. Destroy your family. That's all those whores want to see. That's all the messy that's all the messy media wants to see. The messy media wants to see your household broken up. Because they don't like Donald Trump anyway. They don't like Donald Trump. The media doesn't like Donald Trump. So they, they want to see y'all breaking up as a married couple. This country needs more married couples staying together. I repeat, this country needs more married couples staying together. So these whores out here that's trying to make these wives leave their husband, you wives stay put. Let those jealous whores be whores for life. Because that's what they're going to be, whores for life and alone and diseased up and used up. While you're still being a wife. Living a life that those whores wish they could live. Melania Trump allows or is allowing jealous whores and the messy media to ruin her marriage. Melania, I'm praying for you, my sister. I'm praying for all the wives. I'm praying for all marriages. God bless America. God bless marriages. All marriages. Thank you for tuning in to Laura with the Black Political Buzz Network and God curse the whores. May God curse all the whores, call girls, sluts, adulteresses, and mistresses. Goodbye.